Hello there, everybody. <coughs> Excuse me for my voice. I'm still sick here, but we are going to go ahead and show you how this works. So I have this little mushroom house that I built, and this is where I grow my mushrooms. It's really quite a simple build, but I'll come show it to you. Now, um, I did build this bigger than it really needed to be. One of the reasons is so I could put torches on the outside without emitting too much light on the center. And I actually have my brightness up from what it usually is at. I sometimes like to turn it up when I'm harvesting mushrooms just so I can see what I'm doing. Now, you don't have to use pod salt, but I did because I think it looks cooler. And you can get pod salt <coughs> by um, growing tall mushroom trees and then using the silk touch shovel to dig out some pod salt. So put that in here, and then this from side to side is 17 blocks. So 17 this way, 17 that way. And then the ceiling is just a guess. Um, you can just take a look at how many blocks is that? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. About 8 blocks that way. 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. Okay, so it's probably about 13 blocks high. I think the requirement is 9 blocks high, but I did 13. So if you do 17 that way and then 13 up high, you can't go wrong. So then you need to go out and find your mushrooms in the overworld. You can find them in the nether as well red mushrooms or brown mushrooms, you can see I've already started using this. And you come and you just place it somewhere in the center. Then you also need bone meal, and you can get that from bones from skeletons. Um, I have a looting sword that I use to get from killing skeletons. I go into a place deep underground and I get bones super easy, so bone meal is cheap for me. So it's good to set up a system. Otherwise, maybe I'll, before this video is over, I'll go show you my automatic composter. It's an easy way to get um, bone meal as well. So you put down your mushroom, and you come by, and then you hit it. Ugh. <laughs> I'm swimming right now. Woohoo! Swimming under the mushrooms. Oh. And you just take your axe, and chop it down. Now my axe has looting, not looting, excuse me, fortune 3 on it. I don't know if fortune does any has any effect on how many mushrooms you chop down. It probably doesn't, but... Um, for any reason it does, well, oh, I'm swimming again. La 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 la. If I'm standing right next to it, that wouldn't happen to me anymore. But maybe I like swimming. Yeah, so just take your axe to it. Let's do a brown mushroom now. There. I typically carry some dirt on me, so if I need to jump up a little higher while I chop this down. Let's do one more brown. Yeah, just using that bone mill. And this, uh, in my opinion, is the most efficient way to get mushrooms. Is to grow the tall ones using bone mill and then just chop them down over and over again. And you can just sit here and harvest and harvest and harvest. Oh, that one's not working for me. Every now and then it'll take a lot like that. But usually it's rare. Most of the time it does it for me on the first or second try. See that one for some reason didn't, so I just cleaned it one more. One more. Yeah, see second try. Okay. Let's chop this down and then before I end this video, let me go show you my automatic composter. Because it's a good way to get bone meal for this. Okay, let's come. Yeah. No, it's nighttime, isn't it? Yeah, this is my property right here. This is actually on the Miner's Dimension server. There's my house, there's my dragon statues, my garage, my barn, my horses and llamas, my farm. And, oh, glitch there. Oh, interesting. I think I'm suddenly having a connection issue. <laughs> that was kind of weird. Well, I can still show you my composter. Oh boy. I think I'm getting hit back in time. Okay, sorry. This is still bugging out on me. Connection issue. Go hide inside real quick. Oh my goodness! We're getting hit by the invisible monsters! <laughs> yeah. Says I don't have that. 
I'm not at all afraid of you. Creepers? Yes. Other mobs? No. Okay, so here is my automatic composter right here. What it is is a chest, hopper, composter, hopper, chest. And what you do is you just put your items right up there that need to be composted. And I usually do seeds like, you know, when I go harvest a bunch of wheat, I get tons of seed or beetroot, you know, I get tons of seeds I don't even need. Let's go get some of that. No, no, let's just do sugar cane. Throw your sugar in the cane in the chest. It starts going through the hopper. And as you can see here, the composter is filling up, and as soon as it does, it goes right into the hopper again. And it just starts putting a bunch of bone mill in here. So that's just an easy way to get bone mill. It's just using the automatic composter. Anyways, that's actually all this video is. So now you know how to grow your giant mushrooms and get lots of mushrooms. Quite fun and very useful. Okay, well, bye.